All right, guys, welcome back. So now we're going to actually add some more data to this. So it's not just one point. Um, so what I thought we would do is we could add some data about the, all the Tesla supercharger stations um, in the world. So if we Google Tesla supercharger uh, location API, I found this website, um, supercharger.info. And if you go here, they actually have a map. This is kind of what we're getting at, like what we want to do. Um, but if you look at data, we're trying to find a JSON data. Um, and the only way I was able to actually find this is if you hit F12 and refresh this page and look at all these requests that are being made, you can see they have this one request to all sites. And if we open this, this is actually a JSON file that has all of the locations. So kind of a roundabout way to get at, at this info, but uh, it works for us. So I'm gonna actually control A and copy all of this data. And we're just gonna make a new JSON file inside of um, our, our project. So if you go to source, I'm just gonna make a new folder called data. And inside here, I'll make a new file called um, like tesla-sites.json and paste it in here and let me just format this document so it looks better so here we go it actually looks a lot better <laughs> so now we see it's an array and it's an array of objects so we have uh, let's see here that's one object right there so that's one object there's a second one a third one so what we need to do is we need to basically loop through this entire um, JSON file and display the points on the map so first of all in our project we have to import this um, JSON file so the way to do this and this is pretty new to me I didn't know how to do this before but we can just say import and you just give it a name and I'm going to call it Tesla data and then you say from and then just the location in, in our project which is data slash Tesla sites dot JSON all right so with any luck that's going to go away it was okay that looks good so let's just play with this data a little bit so let's just console dot log the Tesla data just to make sure it's working like as we expect all right I think it's compiled so let's go back here and open the dev tools and refresh it and go to the console and you see we have everything being printed here so that's good um, so let's go back here so now what we need to do is we need to use this marker here. So I'm going to get rid of this pop-up for now because some of this, it can get a little hairy with all these um, different parts of it. So we're just going to work on this marker right now. So what we need to do is we need to use something called map in JavaScript. So we need to map this array. So we're going to need to say Tesla data actually in curly brackets Tesla data dot map and we need to map Tesla and then just put parentheses here and inside the parentheses that we need to put this marker Let me format this. All right. And the way this map works, it's kind of just like a for loop. Uh, well, it's slightly different, um, but this is kind of the way that React uses. It, you'll see that if you work with React projects a lot, you'll see maps being used a lot in place of for loops. Um, 
but just kind of think it is like a loop. So it's basically looping through every object in this Tesla data JSON file. And then we're doing something with that data. So you can see here, we're gonna need, we, we need to give it a key. So we can say key equals tesla.id. And the reason this works is because if you look at teslasites.json, we have an ID. All right, and then position, that's going to be, so you can see here we have a latitude and longitude. So we have to figure out how we can get at the latitude longitude in one of these objects. So we're gonna have to say tesla.gps.latitude.longitude. So let's just try tesla.gps. Um, Lat and if I let it sit for a second, it'll find that, which that's encouraging. And Tesla dot um, GPS dot longitude. All right, and I didn't really explain. This syntax is kind of confusing, even even to me. But this is just the variable name. You can give this whatever you want. It, and these arrow functions, it's basically a, just a different way of saying you're making a function, um, which is a little confusing, but let's just take a look at this here. So let me refresh it. Is it running? Oh, pop-up is different. That's fine. Hmm, it's loading very slow. And I'm thinking it might be having trouble displaying all of this data. Oh, actually, I just noticed it doesn't look like we closed this marker. So this marker is actually I think it has something to do with this. Let me see here. That's what I had before, but that wasn't working. Oh yeah, it is. I think it was just, there was just, there's too many points here and it's, you see it's having trouble rendering everything. Um, so I think that's good. We're going to actually, I'm gonna limit this to only display to a certain country because this is not how we want to work with it because it's, it's just too much data. Um, so I think in the next video, that's what we'll do. We'll just display data from one country. And then you also notice these pop-ups aren't working and that's, that's expected because if you remember, I actually took out that pop-up um, just because I wanted to focus on um, the marker right here just uh, so there was less code to look at. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do in the next video. Um, thanks for watching.